Sarah Mendez, and I'm giving a speech on experimental films and feminism. And here are my five people. All right, I will pass it. Hold on, y'all. And then, all right, so right here I have my outline and then my verbal citations. All right, so watching it in experimental film is the closest thing you can come to dreaming another person's dream. And Gemma Bile said that she's a renowned film critic. Today I will be giving you information about feminist themes in the history of experimental film. There are three main films I will be discussing today. Daisies, directed, um, which is a Czechoslovakian film from the 1960s, Meshes of the Afternoon, which is a short film from the 1940s, and Tree of Life, which is a 21st century film. So let me begin by telling you about Daisies and the imagery they use to show their feminist ideals. The opening scene of Daisy starts out with two women sitting against a background eating an apple, and that opening scene was supposed to imply the Garden of Eden and Eve taking an apple from the Tree of Knowledge, and this is where they start showing the new knowledge that they have and changing the ideals. Then the next scene to where you can kind of see this happen more so is the scene where the two main characters go to a sugar daddy, but they're performing in the act of gluttony and they're just eating a ton of food and drinking a ton of wine, and there was a uh, critic that said, um, that stated these two female protagonists, troublemakers with a blatant disregard for any society rules are the interpretation of repressed femininity with a strict social mechanism. So this scene was supposed to represent them going against this ideal and like that women were supposed to eat like small amounts and it went against the idea of like gluttony. So that's how it was representative of that. And then the protagonists were the literal call to action for those who were oppressed by saying, break these rules, break what's been told to us that we should be doing, and everything that like Czechoslovakia at the time was saying they should act on. The next film I'm going to discuss is Meshes of the Afternoon. The premise of that film is the main character, who's a woman walking home, just her regular routine, and by the time she gets home, she starts fearing all the objects in her home, such as like a telephone or the kitchen stove and doorknobs and just everything. And this is supposed to just show like her fear. And post-production in experimental film is a really big deal because you have to add ambient noises and things aren't exactly how they appear. So you have to show that in editing through music and the angles and different things going on. So the purpose, um, it helps with the theme for this film. And the editor and director could capture the fear of what happens when femininity and women are oppressed um, with just being told they should be housewives, housewives and nothing more than busybodies. So that's why she was afraid of the phone. She was afraid of the kitchen stove. It was being afraid of like just those norms that society says we should be. And in the 1940s, that was a pretty big deal. Um, again, Dia Denovac said in that film that the issues of personal freedom in a world that is constructed in a code of male mobility was what like women should be worried about. So that was a big deal there. And finally, I will finish by informing you about the Tree of Life and the significance of non-sequential narratives. In experimental film, they challenge familiar structure and don't go necessarily in sequential order of like the American narrative that starts at the beginning, middle, and end. And they'll use subliminal messages that appear on the screen that are supposed to mean more to you. And you can figure that out. And in the Tree of Life, the premise was about this family and the motherhood and like everything that this family goes through just their daily life, and it was supposed to represent the beauty and femininity that there is no need to abandon certain qualities, such as like motherhood and things that they say are like thematically laden in women that we're like just born with, that to be a feminist now in a 21st century, we don't have to give those things up, was the big deal there. Um, and the experimental film genre is one that celebrates women, and because of its nature to challenge societal norms, it's always been used to say like, to go against whatever is happening. So in conclusion, I just told you the aspects of feminist experimental films that have paved a way. I started by giving you information on the background of one of the earliest and most well-known experimental films, Daisies, which I was like, you can see right here. This is that opening scene. Then I informed you about Meshes of the Afternoon, which I challenged social constructs predominant in that time. Um, and then lastly, I gave you the experimental film Tree of Life that still celebrates women and embraces the meaning of femininity. Experimental films have been a foundation of inspiration to challenge people who attempt to oppress anyone, but most certainly women. These films gave way to women and their need for feminism through imagery, editing techniques, and non-sequential narratives. Okay.